peace, 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 and abundant day, everyone. I hope everybody's having a blessed, prosperous day, this beautiful Saturday. Oh, man, today is just a blessed day, y'all. The more and more I become aware of this reality and the power that we hold as an individual and as a community, things just get beautiful. Peace, 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 brother. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Peace, peace. Thank you. Thank you for joining the call. Thank you for coming in and taking the time and energy to take in this information. Um, let me know if anybody can hear me really good before I go on. Peace, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Peace, 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 y'all. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. What we're going to talk about a little bit is a little bit about freedom. Freedom. What is freedom? How does it feel? Um, how does it feel to to be free? What does that feel like? Um, what does it feel like? Could could somebody ask me what does it feel? What does it feel like to be to be free? Okay. So freedom, right? Your freedom, time and freedom go in hand in hand, right? Time and freedom basically can go hand in hand. Because if you don't own your time, if you don't have your time, who else has your time? So you're not really free to do what you want to do if you don't have your time, right? So we have been programmed from such a young age to give our time to other people. So we constantly just giving our time, giving our time, right? But we're not living enough because we're always working, we're always doing. We don't have enough time just to go on vacation and do what we want to do. We don't have time to just wake up one morning and say, you know what, I just want to lay on, in bed all day, you know? So I about two years ago, I was sitting at my office, sitting at work, right? I was sitting at my office. You know, I, I just got tired of being at work. I just got tired of just getting up every morning, just going. I had some friends that um had got out the military and they became investors. They got into real estate and, you know, I just continued to, to work. So one day I was sitting at my office, y'all. And I was like, let me add up because numbers don't lie. Let me add up the hours I sleep, the hours I work, and my free time, right? Let's add that up, y'all. Let's see real quick what that might be, right? So we're going to add up, let's just say a normal, let's just say a normal nine to five, right? Let's just say work, nine to five. What's that, it's about eight hours? It's eight hours, right? So. Somebody, I want you to add this up for me. I want you to add up that eight hours times that week. What is that? Somebody give me that. Eight times seven days. What is that? 56, right? So you're working that much, right? So how... Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, giving me numbers. Okay, so you work. So for one week, you work 56 hours, right? After you get off work, how long do you have between getting off work and free time before you go to sleep? Somebody, please, please, and uh, please tell me. When you get off at about 5, and it varies. People get off at 6 sometimes. But when you get off work, tell me. How long is the time period before when you get off and then it's like, okay, I got to go to sleep right now. I can, okay, let, okay, three to four hours, right? That was the same thing for me too. I would, I would get off work and then go to the gym and then have to come home, cook, and go right to sleep. So let's just go two hours, right? Two to three hours. So let's just say three hours. Let's say average, y'all. I want y'all to do three hours times the seven days, right? So now this is time this is me time this is your freedom time right this is only your freedom
freedom time. So you're working, so you get, let's say, three hours, right? Three times seven is what? Y'all give it to me. Come on, come on. Yep, 21. Thank you. All right, 21. So you're working this much. You're working 56 hours. You only have 21 hours free. And this is for people who work in Monday through Friday. Now, y'all think about the people who work in all day. You work 56 hours. You have 21 hours to yourself. Now, do this, do, now do this for me, y'all. How long are you sleeping? What time y'all normally go to sleep? Add your people to this call right now. Invite your people to this call. People need to see this. We need to wake up as a community. Add people to this call. I'm about to do this math for y'all. What time do y'all normally go to sleep? If you're coming in at 5, 6, 7, 8, let's just say you're going to bed at 9, right? Most people go to bed like around 9, 10, right? So let's just say you're going to bed. This is just a, a little, little, because little, little, most people stay up late. So let's just say you're going to bed at 10 o'clock. So you're going to bed at you're going to bed at 10 o'clock, right? So you're going to bed at 10. You got to be up. You got to be to work at nine. But you got kids. You got to be up early. What time y'all get up to get y'all kids up in the morning? What time y'all got to get up? Somebody let me know so I can do these numbers right here. Because these numbers don't lie. Seven days a week, you're working 50, 56 hours is going to somebody else's job. 21 hours, you only got free to yourself in one week. How many hours are you sleeping? Okay, so she says she get up at 6 o'clock, right? So we got 10, 11, 11, 12, 21, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, to 6. Okay, so that's 8 hours, y'all. So 8 hours times 7 days, right? So you're sleeping for about 8 hours. You're getting up around 6s, right? So that's still about 56. Now I want y'all to check that out. And I'm glad you got your own business, sis. That's why I'm trying to educate to get people to having your own business. But I'm going to get on the business part too. That's going to be a little bit something later. But I want y'all to look at these numbers though. So this is a week. Now this is just for a week. This is seven days a week. One week. For one week. One week, y'all. You're working 56 hours. Your time is your energy. You're taking your energy and you're working 56 hours. You got 21, 21, 20 on one of that to yourself, hours a week to yourself. And you're sleeping 56. So I ask you, what is freedom? What is freedom? If you can't control your time, right? So I'm here to tell you that we all have the power to manifest wealth within us. And one of the ways is generating passive incoming. Passive income. Some people ask, well, what is passive income, right? The word passive. Passive is like you don't have to do anything to it. You don't really have to do anything with it. The money just comes and it works for you. Y'all, this is what the rich people are doing. Even when you own your own business, you still doing the footwork. Some people own their own businesses. Let's get on that. So some people own their businesses, right? They own their own, they own their own businesses, right? But they still doing the footwork. They still have to make the product. They still have to market the product. And they still have to package the product. Now, people who are business owners that own a business, they get people to work for them. So that's great if you got your own business. Now, the next step is to own your own business and have people work for you. Have people work for you while you on the beach chilling, while you sipping on a martini, doing your alkaline water, whatever it is that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got the employee. That means you work for people. That means you work for people. That means your time and energy, time with your kids. You can't get that time back at work. You can't. You got 21 hours for you and your family on a seven on a seven 
seven day day on a seven day chart, y'all. On a seven day chart. When I seen this, I left my nine to five. When I sat in my office two years ago, or it might have been about three years ago, when I added my numbers up in my life, I quit my job. I quit my job. I swear I quit my job, y'all. I was like, I did not come to this planet to just work. God did not bless me. and be, He didn't bless none of us. None of us should be working. We, why do we got to get on the plane and everything and have to always go for the, the lower cost in life? We got to start living luxury and thinking luxury. Wolf is a mindset. I'm sitting here spitting this to y'all right now. Do y'all hear me? You know what I'm saying? So it's time to start generating passive income. You know what I'm saying? Budgeting your money. Here's another quick tip. We always say we don't have enough money, right? But we have habits. I got a ha I got habit too. We all got habits. So let's just say you're a coffee drinker. You go to work every Monday, Monday through Friday. You spend about $6 on your Starbucks coffee, right? I want y'all to do something for me in the calculator, right? Seven times four is what? 28, right? So let's do $28 times that $6 coffee. Somebody do it up for me real quick. 28 hours times that $6 coffee because you're getting the coffee every day. Yes, thank you. You on that math, baby. I love that. 26 times uh, that $6 coffee real quick. So it's like every day you're drinking that coffee. So what is... What is the tw what is uh twenty eight times times the six? I don't got my calculator. Thank you. So about one hundred and sixty eight. So every day that you going to work and buying that six dollar coffee, you spending one hundred and sixty eight dollars, but you ain't got no money though. Do y'all hear me? But you ain't got no money though. If we cut back on our habits. And we say, hey, I'm going to start making my own coffee at home. I'm going to get this money back. You will have more money. We are all wealthy. That's what I'm trying to bring to your realization right now. We are all healthy. I got another scenario for you. You go out to eat at lunch, right? You work at 56 hours, 21 hours to yourself. And 56 hours of sleep, right? So every time you go to work, you got your favorite little vegan cafe you like to go to. You got your favorite little sandwich spot. You Guess what? How much you spend at uh, lunch sometimes every day? You can spend between $12 to $15 nowadays with all of these expensive, expensive food we got out here. So you going to work Monday through Friday. You're going to go eat lunch every day out or not every day you're going constantly you know that week to go get something to eat you can cook your own food and save money i want you to add something else up add 50 she said 15 dollars for her lunch add 15 dollars times seven let's just do that simple math let's do that one somebody add that up seven times 15 i want y'all to see these numbers because i'm not just sitting here just sitting here, just talking, playing around with y'all. I'm sitting here trying to educate and help y'all because these are things that came to my awareness. I had to be aware of these things in my financial uh, 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 shift. $105. So let me tell you, $105, do y'all hear me? She's spending on her lunch. And I'm, not, I'm just saying, hypothetically, every day if you was to go eat lunch at that place for 15, so, so for seven days, times the 15 you are spending a hundred and five dollars on lunch but you, but we don't got no money though right i gotta i'm getting hyped it's just coming through y'all we ain't got no money but we'll spend this every day on lunch you can have this go out the, i'm not saying don't go out to eat if you want to go out to eat cut that down eat two times and cook at the house do y'all hear me though I don't think y'all hear me though, right? So here goes another thing for y'all. I want y'all to check this out. I, li I like how y'all keep it counting this math. I want somebody to do something for me. If you save $4.75 for 31 days, tell me how much you got. Tell me how much you got. Add it up for me. Add that up for me. If you 
were to save, if you were to save $4.75 for 31 days, somebody add that up for me. What, what, what we got? What we got? 21, 25. Okay, 23. Thank you. I love how you're on this math. Okay, so every day, if you was to put $4.75 in, and you might be like, guess what? I don't got $4.75. I can't even save that every day. Guess what? I got a cheat code for you. I want y'all to listen to this. I got to get real close. There's so much passive in income opportunities out here we have to get out of our own way and stop being scared and so scammy everything ain't no freaking scam yo there's opportunities out there making success for people every day you can get paid for click for searching on the internet just sitting at your crib doing a little quick little cute survey for 25 cent for 50 cent now think about if you now somebody do this for me for, yeah, wait, you said, yeah, $4.75 times uh, 30 days, 31 days. So look, you're doing a coupon survey, right? Because they got them all online. Quick little surveys, quick surveys, yo, five minutes. Let's just say you did a couple of those surveys. There go your four seventy five. I'm just saying, though, there is always a way, okay, y'all? There's always a way. You saved that. She told me it was $23.25. You saved $4.75. You got this. Now times that by three more weeks. Think about how much money you can have at the end of the month. A lot of people who want to join the educational platform that I am in, 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 in Forex, they always say that they might not have the monthly fees. But guess what? The monthly fees is $145. But guess what? If you save $4.75 every day, you'll be able to go ahead and pay the monthly fees. And then on top of that, with all the education that we bring and we give and the tools that we give you, you'll make $1.45 in a couple minutes. So numbers don't lie, y'all. Let me run it back for some of y'all who just joined in the call. The average person works. 56 hours a, a week. They have free time. 21 hours a week of sleep time. I, 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 we're going to have to ask some more people to hear when, when I run this back one more time because I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think these, these numbers is lying. I mean, what y'all, I mean, okay, I'm, my, my bad. I'm sorry. So, and then, and so, um, and so then you're sleeping 56 hours, y'all. I just want y'all to see that. Now, I hope everybody had their notepad out and stuff. Um, I just really wanted to show y'all that, yo, it's time to really, it's time to claim our freedom. It's really time to claim our freedom. Like I said, you have the employer, you have the business. You, you got your own business, but, but you own your business. You got the person who is a business owner. I'm just going to put biz on. Um, and then you got um, the investor. So don't mind my writing, okay? Um, so you got, you know, you have... The employee, somebody who's working double time for somebody else every day, you got the business owner where it's like, okay, cool, you're not really working for nobody, but you're still doing the footwork. And then you got the business owner who owns businesses or who has other people working too. Because you got to think about it. We are in a consumer-based reality. There's always going to be a supply and demand for everything. Everything circulates. And then you have the investor. Now, the investor is where we really want to be because the investor, you know what the investor is doing? The investor is having gold. The investor is investing in silver. The investor is uh, investing in stock markets. The investor is investing money. What are you in real estate? You know what I'm saying? What are your assets? These are things we need to start thinking about. Paper money is paper money. What you going to fall back on? 
You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to get out of our own way and really stop being scary. That's what it really is. And making excuses. I got to just give it to you right there because that's the same thing I was doing. You know, I was in my own way. And then I had to really muscle up and be like, no, I'm leaving this, this job. So um, I thank you very much, you know, for just joining this and, you know, getting this information, getting this information in, you know, for all of my YouTube uh, people out there, like, you know, and, and my Facebook family, I would really love if you would just like, you know, subscribe, comment this video, because this kind of information needs to get out to more people, y'all. I should have way more people in here getting this information, especially I'm giving this information just to give it out of the kindness of my heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm living this experience, and then I'm sharing it with you guys because I know we're powerful together. I believe in all of y'all that set through this call I believe through believe in all you guys because I believe in myself and I know if I can get this financial literacy, you can too. So please, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, share this video. I'm going to be uploading it to my YouTube channel. You know, check my YouTube channel out. I'm really working on just bringing um, the community into the awareness of the abundance within all of us we're all abundant we just not aware of it so it's time for us to bring that awareness to our attention so once again thank you very much um i'll be bringing more videos if anybody is interested in any type of passive some secure you know passive income no recruiting straight from your cell phone um thing uh type of um, um income please let me know um I have a quite a few, quite a few right now, and doing really good. I mean, I haven't worked for three years, so you know the the proof is in the product. You know what I mean? So um, I'm here to help y'all. So peace and love. Thank you for coming through. Um, I love you because I love myself, and we are the same. So peace out.